back to school means students are climbing back on those buses. A multi-billion dollar federal initiative could help replace some of those diesel buses with new electric ones. Fox 43's Marshall Keeley breaks down the potential benefits to students and the cost to schools. 1.4 million Pennsylvania students will board buses this school year, most of them climbing onto diesel buses like these. Officials at Penn Environment say these fleets are harming the earth and hurting students. Just one bus can produce 23 tons of waste, releasing harmful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Penn Environment says diesel exhaust contains 40 known cancer-causing elements and is more concentrated inside the bus than outside. It's causing respiratory issues in students and can lead to headaches, nausea, and poor concentration in school. Kevin King from electric school bus company First Student Inc. says his son was one of them. My older son uh, had, was a severe asthmatic and he would get off that school bus every day and he'd barely make it up the steps and we had a nebulizer treatment ready for him. And I am looking back 100% convinced that riding on that diesel bus exacerbated that issue for him. The Environmental Protection Agency's Clean School Bus Program is offering school districts and bus contractors across the country the chance to turn their fleets electric. The federal grant and rebate program will award $5 billion over the next five years, enough to replace more than 13,500 buses. Pennsylvania schools received 22 electric buses in the last round of funding. Some Harrisburg students will soon be riding them but there are some barriers to using the technology. We also have to factor in the infrastructure costs for charging. The DC charging unit, which uh, can charge a bus much faster and charge multiple at a time, they can go between $25,000 and $50,000. Each new electric bus can cost three to four times more than a diesel bus. Without having that grant funding, most districts, most contractors, they're not going to be prepared. They're not going to be able to carry that the weight of that burden, financial burden. King says electric buses pay for themselves over time, requiring 60% less maintenance and offering 80% energy savings. I'm very excited about everything it'll bring in terms of benefits to the community, the benefits to the student, and there are economic advantages to the operators as well. Woswick points out electric buses mean more training for mechanics and for drivers. Marshall Keeley, Fox 43 News.